Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Magic Arena and give you a warning as someone who has played a lot of gacha games. So gacha, it comes from gachapon, which is kind of random. And that's what you're doing by playing Magic the Gathering online. You're buying a random chance of getting a mythic or a card. Now, just like any other good gacha game, there's ways to get a mythic or in Fire Emblem, it would be a 5-star. In Fate Grand Order, it would be like a 5-star. You don't necessarily need to be lucky and get it if you try hard enough and you have a vault and you have wild cards and there's all these other things like in Hearthstone, you can choose the extra card that you need or the card that you desire. So I'm here to warn you about the potential pitfalls if you spend money in this game. Now, recently 100,000 invitations have been sent out. Out of that 100,000, I would say less than 5,000 of those people will really put money into the game. The other 95,000 people will be something called F2P, free to play. And that's how they get you into the game. Now, obviously the free to play player does not directly make money for the company but what happens is the whales the people paying hundreds of thousands of dollars or 40 to seventy thousand dollars like mtg headquarters and like this guy who paid seventy thousand dollars to play fate grand order you have to realize that to make sure that that whale is happy, they need a comparison, right? They need to feel good and be like, oh, look at this crappy deck. I'm going to beat you. I know a lot of you say right now that you can make decks. That won't be true in the future. Um, it is very easy to make a deck right now because there's not that many sets, to be honest, right? Like, think about what you're saying when you say, oh, I can make a compare deck right now. The game has not really re even, like, added that many sets to it but as we continue to add and add and add you're either going to give your time which your time has a value to it it does have value i know a lot of mtg finance people never calculate the time they spend sorting mailing things of that nature but it does have value because you could be working whatever you're doing i always compare it to well would Walmart employees, at least in the state of Texas, make $10 an hour. At the very least, you're losing $10 an hour. So let's talk about why this is dangerous. Now, if I asked you, would you spend $100 on a video game like Sony, PlayStation, or Xbox game? Most of you would say blank no. And when you look at Star Wars Frontier, that's what happened. Everyone wants to play Darth Vader, right? But then you get in the game, you're like, wait a second, how much... Wait, I can either play this game for the rest of my life or I can pay some money to get this character. And that's true for any gacha game and Magic the Gathering is the definition of a gacha game. You want to build the best deck. I'm here to warn you, I know a lot of you think that you can just put time into it, but you're never going to get the best deck without putting money into it. And the reason that is, is because this is not a charity. It is a business. It is a very successful business model that many, the only game, mobile game that I have seen that has not had this business model is Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go has limited the amount of money I can spend by how much I walk. Because the egg incubators, the incest, all of this stuff depends on that I'm actually walking physically and I cannot play the game from home. I can't be lazy like Fire Emblem fake grand order and magic gathering you can sit there and you can spend any amount of money instantaneously right so get prepared to either spend a lot of time which you might enjoy if you value that as entertainment then that's that's really good but you're never going to get the best deck you're never going to get the best cards so i'll point blank tell you this right now this game is still in beta they're not monetizing beta, right? Like, you would have to be Star Wars bad to think that was a good idea. No, you want your customer base to be very happy. But now, if 95% of your customers will never spend a single cent, 
how do you make that 5% like Jeremy spend $40,000, like this guy spent $70,000? The answer is you may have, you make them exclusive products. Now, you might be like, oh, Magic would never do that. Magic Duel did exactly that. You had the Black Lotus uh, sleeves. You had, you know, a lot of pa like these sets keep coming up. Maybe you were all set for Magic Origins and then... Magic Duel was so long ago. I think the first set was Magic Origins. But eventually, you know, over Gatewatch comes out. All this stuff comes out. And at least in that game, you only need one Mythic. And you can only get one Mythic. And and this new game, Magic Arena, you need four. That's a huge difference. Let me repeat this. In Magic Duels, a free-to-play player could keep up and get one of each cop or one of every card they needed, but that was only because you needed one of every, any mythic. And you only got two of any rare. Here, you need, I mean, we know the best cards are always mythics, and the best cards are always rares. You're going to need the Lyrars, you're going to need the Tefis, you're going to need the Khan Scion of Urza. These, it's not like... Now, here's another warning just for Magic on Magic Arena. Uh, only applying for this. I would be very afraid to put money in this game. So A, it's not logical for you to put more money than you would spend on a video game because this is a video game. You could buy any pre pretty much any video game for the $100 mark, right? And you're going to, I mean, how does someone spend $40,000? But that $40,000 Jeremy spent and I spent on Magic Online, probably less than 10000 that can be reimbursed because you can sell those cards. Here, you cannot. That's a very subtle but very important difference. Whatever you spend, if you spend $100 in Magic Online, let's say that you pulled $50 of cards, you can get $50 of tickets and then kind of cycle back again. Here, there's no month financial value tied to your collection because you cannot at least at this moment you cannot trade you cannot sell it's a typical gotcha game it's like fire emblem i can't sell those characters to somebody i can't buy characters from somebody and that is the key the second big difference is unlike other gotcha games which i feel very safe that my account is not going to get deleted this, for many reasons, I don't feel safe. Uh, number one, I understand what happened to Magic Duels. They just canceled it and it was gone. Uh, it was right before Hour of Devastation pre-release. And they were like, oh, oh, sorry, we didn't tell anyone in advance. But yeah, you know, those guys, you guys who just purchased those uh, gem packs or these coin packs, uh, sorry, we didn't tell you guys. So that tells me it's very poor behavior that they would not at least notify people that the game would be canceled. I know economically why they want to do it, but still very poor behavior, and I don't expect them to behave differently. And the most important part, so if you stayed with me until this point, here's the golden nugget. They can ban you, and they will ban you for your political opinions. They will ban you if you say something bad about them. You will, they will ban you if you post, if you're a moderator on a private magic group. So you're banned from Magic, you're banned from Magic Arena, and they just, just delete your account. If you put a Pepe meme, a Pepe meme, they can ban you. And all that money, all that time, all that thing you spent, there's nothing worse than losing a gotcha game account. I can tell you that from experience. I used to play One Piece. Terrible game, by the way, but then one day my account got deleted for I don't know why, and I never played One Piece again. And uh, Fate Grand Order, a lot of times the J JP, the servers go down. I don't know what's going on, but it always freaks me out a tiny bit <laughs> when I can't log in. And I'm like, oh, no, even if I can log in like a minute later, like it still freaks me out a little bit. I was playing uh, Digimon Lynx. So I'm a, I spend a lot of money on gacha games just because I like to and I have the money. And it's not, you know, it's a few hundred dollars isn't going to kill me either way. So I was playing Digimon Lynx, and then Digimon Lynx server was down for like two weeks, and then I stopped playing it. I have a gut feeling that something like that will happen to Magic Arena, and all, let's say they have 100,000 players, and then their servers go down for two weeks, which in 
Magic Duels, when it first came out, its servers were down two months. I have evidence of this. I complain about it because during those two months, they were they were giving me quote money to buy coins to you know make videos on it. I was like, wait, I can't make videos your in these two months because、uh, your system has failed. Your coding is not correct. So a, I'm not very Very、um, optimistic that this is not going to happen. So if Digi- it happened to Digimon Links and One Piece and even Fate Grand Order, I I feel like it is going to happen to Magic Arena.、Uh, it will go down. They will call it a server error, but who really knows what that means? And then it will lose the majority of its player base. That's what happens, right? Like, so if I'm playing Digimon Links and I'm having a good time, and all of a sudden the server goes down and I can't log in again. Am I really going to continue playing this game when I know that my account can be like deleted any time? And that does that doesn't even mention the fact that they can ban me, right? They can ban me from playing Magic, and then take away the account that I put money into. And yes, if that happened to me, maybe I should test it because,、um, you know. And their terms, and their I'm sure that they have something that you sign up in the、uh, the agreement that you agreed that if this happens, then you don't do anything. So if there's two months downtime and you paid a thousand dollars into the game and you can no longer access your account for those two months, I'm sure something in their contract says that they won't reimburse you for any of that amount of money. But anyway, that is it. So、uh, try your best to avoid gotcha games. <laughs> Irony, right? Bye, guys.